In this video, we're going to talk about how you can set and track your company goals in Databox. Often, companies don't realize that they've missed a goal that they've set until it's too late to do anything about it. But Databox lets you set goals, track their progress in real time, and get alerts if you're off track from hitting them so you can take course corrective action now. So for example, you can use Databox to let your sales leaders set monthly call goals for AEs or so that your marketing leader can set a quarterly goal or annual goal to increase website sessions or something like that. So in order to get to goals on the left-hand nav, we can click goals. And here we can see an overview of goals. We of course could sort them. We could look at goals by data source or by date range or who they're owned by. But let's go ahead and click create new goal. So first we're going to select the metric and in my case it's going to be website sessions from GA4. And then we select an input type. We can set another metric as a goal value but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on manual because there's a fixed number I want to set here. And so let's go ahead and set our goal values. I can see that last month Databox is telling me that I've got almost 16,000 sessions last month so this is nice because this can help me set a realistic but still achievable and data-informed goal. So for example, I might say, okay, let me try and raise this to 20,000. Let's say that that's my goal. I'm going to aim for 20,000 sessions. Now, this is great. We could select daily, weekly, quarterly, annually, and keep it that simple. Or a really cool feature, if we want to break up our goal into more bite-sized pieces, is that we could add more date ranges. And here you can see that Databox has gone ahead and projected out what that would be quarterly or annually. And so I could change this or add a yearly goal or a quarterly goal or something like that. So this is uh, all connected here. If we click this link icon, it will actually turn off proportionally calculated goal values. So this does is keeps my goal values proportionate based off of what I selected. But if you wanted to weight them differently, you could turn this off and update it. Uh, but I'm going to leave it toggled on. And so, for example, let's say that I want to have this monthly and I want to toggle on a yearly goal. Okay, and then let's select the visualization type. We have the progress bar, which will indicate, as you might expect, progress, how far you are from hitting your goal, versus a line chart, which is how you're trending towards your goal. So I'm going to leave it towards progress bar, and let's give it a name. We'll call it increase website traffic. And then we can pick the goal owner. So I'm going to leave it defaulted to myself, but you could pick this to a team member who's meant to own this goal. And then finally, you can have alert options. By default, it's set to alert when the goal has been hit, which I'm going to leave. This is something that I want. And your other alert option is when the goal probably won't be hit. And this is really important to me. So I'm going to leave this toggled on because I want to get notified when I'm unlikely to hit my goal so I can proactively take action. And that's a really cool feature here in Databox. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Okay. And that's it. My goal has been saved. I can scroll down here and view my new goal. I can track it. I can edit it over time. And I see that I've got 20 days left on my monthly goal and I can see how I'm trending toward it. Uh, we even get a performance overview here that we can read. So that's the basics of setting and tracking your goals in one place in Databox.